Okay, so uh, right before I begin this video, I just wanted to say Happy New Year, guys! It's now 28, 2020. I was gonna say 2018, but <laughs> uh, my mistake, guys. So, um, Happy 2020. Finn here just wants to say hello, so hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, um, my, my, it's my, it's my precious, my precious. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have a good start here on 2020 with Doki Doki Literature Club. So stay around, and we'll get right in. Hey, Finn here, and welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. So, what a good start for 2020 with Doki Doki, but don't worry, another Minecraft video coming on later on this afternoon. So yeah, and um... Just wanted to say uh, happy new year guys really am excited for for 2020 for some new stuff new content new everything whatever so um, let's just go get right into it so um right before i begin this video be sure to leave a like share it with a friend and of course if you're new to the channel please subscribe really does help me out and click on the bell notification on what videos i upload oh i didn't it meant intent that the voice cracks so, anywho you guys know what time it is, and what time is it? It's Doki Doki time! Alright, so now we're left with these two, Yuri and Natsuki, of course, from the previous episode. So, as they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the phone to the desk with one hand. Guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the giving a feeling up. A feeling of giving up. Giving up it. I know I messed up. I know it's New Year, but again, I can still read. So, yeah. <laughs> Forgive me about that one, guys. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't. But it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who really liked who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Fid did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you suggestion, some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect that to change anytime soon unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. And Finn liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Finn appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And, wh and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Who? Well, you know what? I was. I wasn't the one who's magically grew a size bigger as soon as Finn's search. You know what? I'm not gonna do that again. I've already been through this before. So. N Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. That This doesn't involve you. Taking out of your own insecurities on others like that, you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Oh Jeebus, that is not normal at all. Me? Who, look look who's talking, you wanna be edgy, edgy lady. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing overs with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? 
the only cute thing is about you and is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the F is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on, let Finn hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh -uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she has just noticed I was standing here. What the heck is going on with my game? This is not normal at all, I have to save this. You, you know what, I'll save that just because. I mean, look at this! It's, I'm pretty sure it's just glitching or anything, but all in all, I think it's just normal, I guess. I don't know. Finn, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh, what the? I can't read that. That was so fast. That was so, so fast. Oh my glob. And now we have to make a choice. Uh, just like before, I think I'll go with Natsuki. Oh. What? I clicked and it... What? What is going on here? What? Okay. Keep on clicking. Oh. Hello, Monica. Okay, that is a little bit weird, but alright. What are you doing, Monica? Dot dot dot. Um. Um. Hey, Finn. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back and we'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was a little bit more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then it, that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Aww. What's wrong, Natsuki? A little bit, uh, a little bit sad there. What's wrong? Why are you crying? She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Finn, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know we didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Da, da, da. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monika. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Da 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 da. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It's kind. Of, it kind of sounds like you don't want me around or something, Yuri. Now that's weird. It's not like that. It's not that. I just. I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Finn. It would be, it would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> Guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. I really appreciate the- Help me! Help me, Finn! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Okay. Is it, is it done? Gonna make sure I'm just gonna put Finn right next to me right now, like on ca on camera. So again, hello. Ugh, 
I'm so scared, I guess. I'm not a I'm not a scared of cat guys right now. I'm just gonna put that aside, so stay there. Alright? Stay there, Finn. Stay there. Anywho, let's continue. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. You know what? I'll save that right there. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable over comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Finn. What the heck is wrong with you, Yuri? Why are you lagging? Huh. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the weight of Yuri's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, and she comes back. Hello. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit weird, huh? That's a bit, a little bit weird. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Nazuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just came over me, I guess. And I was, wasn't act mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But, wh but whatever it was... <coughs> Excuse me. It didn't make me think less any of you. I already had I already I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh ah. Uh, Finn. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter around you and Ah. Uh, Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you seen... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Uh... Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Uh... What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, <clears throat> Natsuki, about yesterday, I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was not. What is that font again? It's that font. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person uh, who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Dot, 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 but, but. Oh my god! That is so creepy! What the? An even more realistic mouth and glitchy, pixelated eyes. Meeples, Sailcloth, Blind Sight, Lifeline, and then Rexability Faultlessly Offered. Nade? I can't say any of these words sometimes. Alright. I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> And there's her cute, cute smile. All right. No, not that, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Da da da. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I just, I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah, well my last period today was study call. To be honest, I kinda lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. 
You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have heard of it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good at good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Aw, thanks, Yuri. You should, you should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on, a, on, on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I'll look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Finn. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Nasuki has already run off into the closet. Shin, um, since your accomplishments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you could spend some time together today. I mean, in the club? Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she, she's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Again with the font, that's that's so weird. Let me save that. Come on, we're going over there. I was expecting a jump scare, but I didn't. Okay, that was that was just a normal thing. That's 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 good. The story about anyway. Well, hmm. I look off. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that turned into a human experiment prison, and the people trapped in there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a bit of, little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is dark. Kinda like this game. It's dark as heck. Yes, I already said that, I know. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Huh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Finn? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. Oh my goodness me. Oh my good. Oh my god. Ah, oh, oh man. She is so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind of that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we are all ruthless anyway. Okay, now we took a dark turn there, Yuri, that's a little bit too much. But okay, I'll take your word for it. I mean, sometimes, yeah, the world is sometimes full of horrible people. No offense, only some, but not all of it. Sometimes. But that's just my opinion, but don't take that seriously. That's just my word. And then, then suddenly... Okay, saw that. I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, well I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing feel my thoughts. What? I didn't get to read that, but okay. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. 
It's a literature club, after all. Ah, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get start reading it, right? Oh, no! Y yes I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book I had to put into my bag. It's alright, it's... Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the si seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I ended up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can read her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry, I was just... Okay, that's a little bit weird because I didn't read that. Alright. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? No, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until... I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more, bet more between the two of them. Ah. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand to open to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, oh, we got this. Oh, we got this nice shot here. I'll say right, right there. It's nice. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it on her thumb after it flips to her side. But holding it like this, we're holding it even closer than together than before. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a jump scare so I guess Finn Right here will keep me company, so yep, yeah, he's 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 welcome to the series, I guess, in future videos. So hello, AA. Gonna put him right next to me. There, sit down. All right, just making sure. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a box right there. I'm 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 so sorry. <laughs> We're huddled even closer together. It's really kind of distracting me. As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a little a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it on her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? <laughs> Is there, look at her face! <laughs> she's she's blushing right there. It's got, very embarrassing. Uh, no, I, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah, oh, that's what were you talking? That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh? Yuri's been a little bit, a little fidgety ever since we started the greeting. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little. My breathing? 
Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to heal, feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Finn? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was just a acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, n nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe she's safe. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I didn't do anything to her, honest. We're just reading. Right? We're reading. We're just reading. That's what we're doing. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing al alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figure we get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, i just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note where I left off the book and slip it back into my bag. Alright, uh, for the meantime, we'll uh, save it right there. And uh, for now guys, I'm just gonna go have some food because it's lunchtime. And uh, yeah, I'm really hungry so let me just take this off for now and I'll just have a quick lunch break so I'll see you guys later on. Alright, I'm back. Got slightly wet hands because I washed the dishes so it's fine, I I'll just wipe this off later on so. Anywho, hey guys, I'm back. <coughs> stuffed oh boy and I'm pretty sure if we're gonna go into this I'm pretty sure there's going to be a jump scare so brace yourselves I warned you guys in the beginning of the video so yeah I, 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 I warned you hmm well it's not terrible but it's pretty disappointing after your last one then again if this one was good as your last one I would be completely pissed well, I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance... I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was never taught to... I was taught never to expect anything from anybody, so it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Jeez, he, yeah, you don't have to be like that, Natsuki. I mean, at least I tried. Still, you should at least took at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. What is this? It's a bunch of binary whatever this is. All right, I guess I'll, I guess I'll try to uh, read it out. I guess. There. I, I, <laughs> I done it. I done it. I, I read the whole thing. It's I don't know why am I saying at this point, but okay. Finn. Why didn't you come to read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why didn't you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri's a sick freak. That should be obvious by now, so play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, don't you, Finn? Don't you hate me? Okay, this is really getting weird now. Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. That's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Okay. 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 This is really getting a little bit weird now, but alright. 
Okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll definitely keep my voice down. Alright, let's go with Monica, I suppose. Oh my glob. <laughs> See, this is why I have you next to me. So yeah, thank you, thank you, I love you. Yeah. You're you're a precious boy, I like you, so stay there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, like I said guys, I warned you. I warned you. I warned you. Hi again, Finn. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll end up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here we go. Give my poem to Monica. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Alright. Great job, Finn. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really a metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spent so much time in her own head that probably a much more interesting place for her. So that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's getting she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on the, on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think she gets too stimulated. She ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. <coughs> Suddenly the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors they won't, right? Beautiful slurs. I was supposed to say beautiful colors, but alright. Flash, flashing, expanding, piercing. Some missing letters, alright. Red, green, blue, and English cacophony. Cacophony. Cacophony? I, I don't have to say that. Of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating what waveforms? Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine co what? S sine cosine tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. An endless poem of meaningless delete her okay we're going on do the uh, we're going on the weird thing there oh and she's glitching sorry I know it's kind of abstract I'm just trying to um well never mind there's no point in explaining anyway here's Monica's writing tip of the day Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Okay, that's a good good advice there, so I did. <coughs> you never know when um who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, that's a little bit weird, and of course we'll get into the purple-haired girl. All right, let's get to the bottom of this once and for all. I guess maybe I don't know. 
Oh man, this is gonna be a longer episode than the previous ones, except with, of course, Iri's depression from Act 1, I think, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go for Yuri last, just because. Look, I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you have written for today. Hmm. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I just, I like just holding it. Hmm? Ah, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Haha, <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Alright. Wheel, a rotating wheel. Turn, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, leaner, gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, stakes, yeah, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cog wheels, existence of gods, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all human eyes, a kaleidoscope with holy stakes, an exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head that of holy stakes tied to existence of a dark ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood ridden clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting to a sky of 40 gears and opening human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time. Breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Okay, that's an interesting poem you got there, Yuri. Haha, <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Ah, that is a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and... Um, I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay, what did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? It can keep the poem though. Okay, that's a little bit weird, but alright. You have unlocked a special poem, would you like to read it? Sure. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Are you laughing? Okay everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could just sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for this festival? Hey, Natsuki! She's back! I thought... Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, Natsuki. I nearly thought. I nearly thought she's dead, but alright, she's right there. After that, that one. that one moment. Okay, okay. I think I should really end it here, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think I should. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Oh man, that's uh, that's a little bit weird. All right, so I guess, all right, so <sighs> what a weird adventure, isn't it? Um, that's a little bit weird if you ask me, but man, at least I went through it a little bit normally now. So yeah, um, um, I guess that'll definitely gonna end it here. So uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not feeling sick. I'm not gonna vomit or anything, but all right. <laughs> Oh man, uh, hope you guys enjoy watching today's video of Doki Doki Urchin Club, or today's episode I mean. And um, I, I gotta say, this is a weird start for 2020 and again, don't worry, I'll be back into, me, into, into Minecraft. So um, 
yeah, uh, don't worry guys, I'll be back into playing Minecraft later on this afternoon or not, I don't know. We'll see about that, so uh, yeah, um, I thank you guys all so much for watching, so like I said in the beginning, leave a like, share it with a friend, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already, it really does help me out, so um, let's go for 2020. Let's go for 2020, so uh, yeah, uh, this is a good start for this year, so like I said, a happy new year guys. And I hope to see you guys next time. So, before I end this video, I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried about the copper thing going on, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to slow me down. This is my new, my, uh, my new start of YouTube. It's because, of course, I just started last year since I got this, this, uh, this computer and everything. So yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I said, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay awesome. Love you all. Finn the Diamond Knight signing off. See you guys next time.